Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to our viewers on TVJ News International in the Cayman Islands and on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, controversial MP Everald Warmington has resigned from the Cabinet of Jamaica. Mr. Warmington served as Minister without Portfolio with responsibility for works. His resignation follows his contentious comments to withhold resources from a PNP councillor elect. But civil society also wants Mr. Warmington to take a step further and resign from the position of Member of Parliament. Andrea Chisholm has the details. Everald Warmington, the fiery member of a parliament for Southwest St. Catherine since 2002. Popularly known for not being warm to the media, he has shouted at reporters when called to address issues linked to his portfolio, told a journalist to go to hell during a live interview, and extended his middle finger when he did not want his picture to be taken. For the finger violation, he apologized. With the many incidents of bad behavior over the years, one contributor described Mr. Warmington as a national disgrace. He has even referred to MP Lisa Hanna as Jezebel and faced backlash when he indicated that opposition leader Mark Golding's skin color would be a hindrance to him becoming prime minister. If he wants to be prime minister, go back to England, Ireland, Wales, or Scotland, but then I'm beat Michael Hanjo Holness. I don't talk about color and race. They started it. Let me finish it. Now, Mr. Warmington was given a chance at redemption in April 2016 when he was appointed state minister in the office of the prime minister. At his swearing-in ceremony, subtle warnings. Everyone in Jamaica knows Mr. Warmington, a very colorful and distinguished member of parliament. And uh, you are called, Mr. Warmington, to serve at a time when young people and old people are looking for transformational leadership. I'm certain that Mr. Warmington would not feel offended if I were to say his personality is controversial. But Mr. Warmington, you are now a minister, not a free agent. You have to serve the people and that is the essence of the ministerial appointment you are now a servant of the people that service was seemingly limited to some there was public outcry when mr warmington as minister responsible for works suggested that state funds would be withheld from pnp councillor elect for the old harbor south division dr kurt wall i'm a minister of work i'm a member of parliament that statement was followed by an apology, but it was not enough. On Thursday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said he met with Mr. Warmington and at the end of the meeting, he received his resignation from the cabinet. Jamaicans for Justice reacted to the resignation. We are heartened by this and we, we, we are grateful that the Prime Minister has in fact listened to civil society and the citizens. I tell you though that had he not acted in this matter, JFJ, we were willing to go all the way necessary to hold the prime minister to, to to the fire to have him act in a manner that is in keeping with the principles of good governance i want to take it a step further that i hope M mr warmington will do some introspection and offer his resignation because our position remains that mr warmington has made himself no unworthy of the house of parliament andrea chisholm tvj news